Hey everyone, I'm so glad to finally be moving this Red Vein Jasper on to medium 180-220 grit, that's silicon carbide. Um, if anyone is interested in seeing the course run on this stone, I will post a link in the description below. And now you see me adding three very rough tablespoons of the medium grit into my barrel. now. It's not perfectly measured. I'm running a little low on the grit in the container, so it's hard to scoop a level scoop out. But uh, we have a little bit of space left in this tumbler, so I'm just gonna add some ceramic media now. That's what you see me adding there. And that's just ceramic pieces to kind of be filler to help the rocks from banging against each other too rough, and now water. And we're gonna put the lid on, and this can be a little bit tricky. You really want that lid to seal and pop into there just right, or it can leak and dry your stones out, and then your stones will be tumbling in a bunch of, it looks like, uh, dusty cement. And you wanna make sure that there's no gap. See, there's no gap right there. And then turn it over, there's a gap there. Yeah, we gotta push that lid all the way on around the whole barrel, or you can have problems and you don't want that. Looks really good. Put the washer on, done. All right, let's have a look. Eight days later. Ooh, no foam at all. And let's dig in. It's a very watery mix. Let's have a look at the stones. Ooh, that looks cool. Check it out. And this one. Oh yeah, you can see there's lots of pitting in this one and this stone is so notorious for that. I don't think I'm gonna be able to grind these all the way down. Normally we would grind them down until there's no pits, but if I do that with the stone, there will be none left. Oh yeah, this one's cool looking. You can see all the red veins in it. I could definitely wire wrap that piece for sure. It'd be a nice one, nice necklace pendant. All the lines going up and down. Oh yeah, that side looks really cool. So pretty, super interesting. There's pitting there too. I'm probably not gonna be able to get that all out. We'll see, I'll keep trying. Well, I'm not satisfied with the results, so I'm gonna run them in medium again. All right, moment of truth. <laughs> uh, let's see, I'll rinse that off real quick. Oh yeah, I can see now in the light there's pitting for sure. And uh, yeah, this is not really that great. Let's dry it off. Sometimes it's easier to see in the light if it's dry. Oh yeah, I would have to grind that all the way down all the way to the innermost part in order to get it to grind down smooth and I'm not willing to lose that much stone on this piece so I just have to be okay with the pits and move on. All right next stone. Ew look at that yuck. Oh check it out. Oh yeah that one looks cool. We've seen this before in a past video. It's nice and smooth. It feels good. It looks good. There's a little pit little bit of grind. Let's dry it. Oh yeah, you can see those little tiny pieces of pit on the top there when I focus. Yeah, the stone is not going to completely be smooth no matter what I do. So I just have to be okay with it. But look at those lines are so pretty. All right, let's check out another stone. Dry it off right away. See what it looks like. Oh yeah, that looks cool. A little bit different. Uh, there's a pit there. We know that's normal now though. Now I really have to decide if I'm going to move this on to the next stage, which is a 500 grit. Let's check out one more. Oh yeah, this one looks really good. It feels good. There's a little crevice, but no big deal. This looks really good. I think this one's ready. I may pull it out of the tumbler, even if I don't move the rest of the barrel on, and this piece will just wait till the others are ready. Oh 
11 days into the fine grit and look at the foam. I knew it would happen eventually. And let's take a look at a couple of pieces here. Quick rinse and dry and check it out. Yes, we have seen this piece before. Look at that dark spot and the veins, the banding. This looks great. You can even see some shine going on. Let's check out another one. Oh yeah, check that out. Oh, look at that red. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, and it doesn't look shiny yet, but that's not important. The important part is I can feel how smooth this is. If you could feel it, you would know what I mean. I say 500 grit did its job here. I say this barrel is ready for 1000 grit, which in my terms is a pre-polish. Not all tumbler kits will come with a thousand grit. I had to purchase this one separate, but we're going to add this in and we're going to put in some of the media pieces you see here. Uh, I'm just going to do that now. Get those in there because we want to make sure that there's not a lot of uh, water or air gaps so that the stones don't bang against each other too hard. We want that tumbler to be really full. And we're going to fill it with water almost all the way to the tippy top. We don't want it overflowing, but we want it really full. And we're going to close it up and we'll see you soon. All right, one week in, ooh, some foam. And you can see that the uh, contents has settled. If the barrel is not rolling, it will settle to the bottom. All right, let's see. Quick rinse and dry and the big reveal. Oh yeah, oh, that's so pretty. Yes, oh, the stripes and the banding in this is beautiful. There's a pit there. There's some little crystals on the inside, actually. You might not be able to see in the camera, but look at that, that's a like clear. Light off. Um, you can't see it any better. Light on. Okay. But it looks like septarian. I will try to remember to show some septarian. All right. Another rinse and dry. And we're going to check this one out too. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We've seen that before, I think, in the course run, but this is so smooth. Oh, yeah. Getting some shine. That's good because we haven't even moved out of a thousand grit yet. This is like a pre polish, so to see some shine is a good sign. Okay, let's check this one out. This has a lot of pits and they go really deep inside there. So if you are someone that likes to rock tumble and get the perfect smooth edge, Red Vein Jasper is not for you. Okay, one more rinse and dry. I wanna check this one out because I show it in every stage, I think, and look at how good it looks. Getting a little bit shinier over time. The veins look good. It's a little bit more smoothed down. Yes, I'm always so excited to see this piece. This piece is my jam. A lot of little pits, they're gonna be in there. I can't get them out. That's okay though. So once it's polished, it'll look more like this. Permanently though, and it'll be dry. So that's what we're going for. All right, I've decided to move these Red Vein Jasper on, but I realized I didn't have any 1200 grit. I'm waiting for it to come in the mail. So I'm stuck using my 8000 grit, which is like my ultra polish. I'm putting in two tablespoons now and I'm kind of bummed out, but I'm just gonna go for it because I don't wanna leave this hanging out, not rolling on the tumbler. So um, fill it with media. We want this really full before we even add any water. And we're adding water now. We want this really full. We don't want it overflowing like I've said before, but we want it really full. We need more water. There we go. That's where we need to be. And I have these little plastic pellets. They are very good for filling in those little mini gaps when you're using a polish stage. You really want to use something that will fill in the little tiny, teeny, tiny gaps. And the plastic does that. Oh 
Okay, nine days after 8,000 grit and look at the foam and it looks so white and clean. All right, let's dig this piece out and dry it off. Oh yeah, this is that same piece with the cave that I said looked like Septarian from the last section. Oh yeah, let's turn the light off. Oh, you can see the gloss. See the gloss and shiny? You can't see the stone light great, but you can see the shimmer. Light back on, and you can see all of the details on the surface. Oh yeah, definitely a beautiful piece. All right, and another piece. Quick rinse and dry, and let's check it out. Oh yeah, we've seen this piece before. It is so beautiful. All the banding is just so pretty on this side. I love this piece. It's so pretty and it's so smooth. Oh yeah, some clear quartz down there. Yeah, very pretty. All right, next piece. And we've seen this one before too. Quick rinse and dry. And yes, look at the shine. Oh yeah, that's dry. And in this piece, it looks like there's cracks in this, but that's not cracks. Those are actually filled with a clear stone, uh, probably clear quartz. But it looks like veins in there, and they're red tinged too. So they look like cracks, but they're not. They're smooth. When I feel them, they are not cracks. Oh yeah, cool. Another piece. All right, let's check this out. The same piece we've shown every time. Look at the shine. There's pits, but there's a lot of shine too. So the pits will never tumble and get shiny. But the rest of this, look, there's clear hanging out inside the stone. This is very shiny. I'm satisfied with it. I really like this. This is a dry piece. It's not wet. When it's wet, it'll be shiny no matter what. So dry your pieces off and you'll know the difference.